D, wait for it. Wait for it. You got the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? And welcome to my week in review, where I come to you every Sunday with three entertainment stories that I personally find interesting, and then we discuss them down below. Also down below, you can find the articles that I read to bring you this video, and you can read them, and you can, you know, you know, make up your own mind, or you can just listen to me, and I'm going to break that those suckers down and, uh, and tell you what's going on, and uh, yeah, you can move on from there. Before I get started on this, I just want to say that if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, YouTube is always changing up their algorithm and small channels like myself usually get pushed to the back of the line. So I please ask that you like, share, and subscribe, and I thank you in advance. I also ask that you do this to any other small YouTube channel because I'm pretty sure they would appreciate it as well. So let's get started on these stories. So for my first story... It looks like Russell Crowe uh, is going to be in Thor Love and Thunder. Now, he was uh, photographed um, at a rugby game with the cast. And a lot of people were like, oh, he's just there hanging out and everything. And, but Deadline reported, they're like, no, he's in the movie. So then everybody started, you know, wondering who uh, he's going to be. And it's not, it hasn't been uh, announced officially of what character he is going to be playing in uh uh, Thor Love and Thunder, but YouTuber Grace Randolph revealed on Twitter and in a live stream that he is going to be playing Zeus. Now, she said in her live stream, she did say that this uh, he was Zeus in earlier drafts, in early drafts of Thor and Love and Thunder, so that could have evolved into something else, but we're going to go with that uh, for this video because I actually like that idea. Now, who is Zeus? Zeus is the god of thunder and the father uh, slash the leader of all the Greek gods. Now, I've always wondered when they were going to bring the Greek gods into the MCU just because uh, they are in the comic books. They're not as big as like uh, uh, um, the uh, Thor gods the asgardians and everything um but considering the fact that uh you know uh the asgardians in the mcu are not gods they're actually just aliens um i think that they could do the greek gods because in like for instance in the dc universe in the dc comic books um in certain iterations the uh the greek gods are interdimensional aliens so i think that this will be an interesting take on zeus and i can't wait to see what uh kevin feige and taika watiti do for this now speaking of this he is the god of thunder thor is the god of thunder very interesting right there also who else do we have as the villain of this movie is gore the god butcher played by christian bale that'll be very interesting and i personally i hoped that i hope that what's going to happen is Russell Crowe will only be in like the first 10 minutes because he's the first God that uh, Gore, the God butcher kills. Cause that's his whole thing. He just, you know, he goes about killing uh, gods and everything. So I think it'd be very interesting to see that. Uh, I don't know if uh, uh, Russell Crowe will be around for a large part of the movie, but I, like I said, uh, I do, I do like this casting as far as Zeus goes. I do like him being Zeus. I like that idea. And I personally like the idea of him being the first God that we see that Gore the God Butcher kills. Um, and it'll be interesting to see if that happens in like the first 10 minutes. Cause I just, I love crap like that. I just love it. It's so good. Plus, I love this whole this whole concept of like like in Star Wars, Vader like hunts down and and uh, the one um, gosh, what's his play face? Uh, they hunt down Jedi that survived Order sixty six. And even though I don't like to see people die, it's still friggin' cool because this is all made up and everything. So I think it'll be interesting to see that um and and see if Russell Crowe is playing Zeus. So that is my first story of the day. So for my second story of the week, Amanda Siegfried is going to be replacing uh, Megan McCain as uh, uh, Elizabeth Holmes. Now, uh, this will be for Hulu. Um, this will be a series. I think it's just going to be a mini series. Um, and she is going to be playing Elizabeth Holmes. 
And if you don't know anything about Elizabeth Holmes, I'll just run it down real quick. So Elizabeth Holmes wanted to be the Steve Jobs, but for medicine. She wanted to, to um, innovate and she wanted to recreate and, and, and do this thing. So she created this box and, and the company she started was called Theranos. And basically what it was, was there was this small box and you took a small vial like this size and it was basically like two or three drops of your blood. They put it in the thing and it would test you for everything under the sun. I mean, not everything, but a lot of stuff. And then it would come back and tell you what was wrong with you. Now, she claimed that this was revolutionary. It worked, all this stuff, yada, yada, yada. But what was happening was she was just lying. She was lying to everybody. And the reason she was able to do all of this is because she got, she basically copied what Steve Jobs did. She wore his black turtleneck. She developed a deep voice. Like she's like her voice was deeper than my voice right now. Like her, the voice that she created for this persona is the voice I should have got at, at puberty. But uh, so she, so she, she created it and she just lied about it all. She, it, her product didn't work. Her, her little box didn't work. I guess it was just like some tests, you there was like a light in there and you know there was like if it got into it's a certain part to test for something specific the light made it too hot so it couldn't test correctly and it came out with a lot of wrong results and a lot of places like cvs they i believe it was cvs or maybe it was walgreens they put this theranos box in all their stores and people were getting false false um you know uh uh um uh, uh gosh a uh, false results so there we go um, and I will be interesting. I will be like really interesting because I am fascinated with this whole story. Like I've watched like every single YouTube thing, video I can find about this. There's like a, a, a mini series, or the, like a movie or whatnot on something. I've seen that one, um, uh, or at least I think I did. I don't know. I watched a lot of stuff. It's it's so fascinating. You guys have no idea how fascinating this is, if, unless you've kept up with it like I have. It's so good. It's so good. Um, and so, um, so Kate McKinnon, I said Kate McCain earlier. Oh no, I said Megan McCain. Oh, totally. Well, I wonder where, what, what Freudian slip is that? Anyways, so Kate McKinnon was originally going to play Elizabeth Holmes. But unfortunately, because of scheduling um, due to SNL and coronavirus and all that stuff, she, she couldn't play it. So they got Amanda Siegfried to play her. Now, I think this is a good choice. I love Amanda Siegfried. She's so freaking hot, so hot. And she's very talented. Now, she's fresh off of Mank. Don't watch Mank. It is boring. Oh, my goodness. Small tangent. Mank, I sat down to watch Mank because I'm like, oh, it's getting all these nominations and everything. Sat down to watch it. Oh, my gosh. I was I was just like, oh, this was bad. My wife, who watches movies with me, uh, <laughs> like, like, like 30 minutes in, she's like, this was a bad choice. I'm not having a good time. And I'm all like, yeah, me neither. She's like, you want to shut it off? I'm like, no, we've started it. We've got to finish it now. And she fell asleep and I was all like, oh, and everything. So yeah, Mank, don't watch Mank. It's not good. It's not, it's so friggin' boring. It's so stupid. So um, I'm happy for Amanda Siegfried. Um, I'm sad for Kate uh, McKinnon. I, I like both of them. I like Kate McKinnon. She's so talented too. Even when, you know, the movie's not that great, like Ghostbusters. I do like Kate McKinnon. She's so funny. She's so talented. She seems like such a nice person. Like every time I watch an interview with her or I see something online with her in it, she just seems like such a nice, warm person. And I I I love her. As far as Amanda Siegfried goes, I haven't watched a whole bunch of interviews and stuff like that, but I don't see any reason for me not to like her. I do like her when she's on screen. I, she's so talented. I love when she sings. She's like, oh, and everything's so good and everything. But uh, I'm excited to see this movie. Like you have, I can't wait to see what Amanda Siegfried does with that voice, like that whole, like, hi, I'm Elizabeth Holmes and everything. I can't wait to see what she does there. It's going to be so good. So good. So that is my second story of the day. So for my third and final story of this week, Thunder, Thunder, Thundercats. Oh, that's right. Thundercats is getting a movie. And who is directing it? Well, they have tapped Adam Wingard to direct it. Now, Adam Wingard is uh, known for directing movies like Your Next, uh, Death Note, which I know a lot of fans didn't like. I actually like that movie, but I've never seen Death Note, the show. Tangent getting off of it and he also did the guest i really liked the guest that was a good movie uh you know a smaller movie but it was so good i liked it a lot i also liked uh, your next i thought that was pretty good it wasn't my favorite but what is like whatever and I, like i said i like death note 
So he is fresh off of Godzilla versus Kong, which I have not seen yet as of, of filming this. Uh, so uh, yeah, can't wait to see it. But uh, so I, I'm very interested to see who they'll pick for the cast of this. I Because they're all, well, well let's start off with, who are the Thundercats? The Thundercats are these cat-like humanoid uh, uh, beings. And they are, they live on a planet called Thundera and Thundera is going to explode. So they get all these ships off and one of them is the, the, the royal ship or whatnot. And it, it holds Lionel, who is the Lord of the Thundercats. And the Thundercats are nobles of, of Thundera. And in the show, it starts off with the nobles that are Chitara, Tigra, and Panthro. And they're all older. And then Wily Cat and Wily Cat, they come with, but they're not uh, nobles. And then we have Jaga. And they get and Snarf. Snarf is like uh, Lionel's nanny because Lionel is like ten years old or some stuff like that. I can't remember the exact details, but I love this show. I love both both the 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 eighties one and the two thousand eleven one. The two thousand eleven one we'll talk about in just two seconds because I want to talk about you know the 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 iterations of it, but. Um, and so they leave the planet, it explodes, they they get into cryostasis, they have to land on a, a planet called Third Earth, and that's where they start their new life, and they build a Thundercats lair, a Thunder, uh, a Cats lair, and there's, um, the bad guys are what's called the mutants, and then Mamra, and Mamra is a mummy-like uh, character that lives on Third Earth in a pyramid, and then the mutants are from the planet Plundar, and they're like, they're mortal enemies of Thundera and everything and then Mumra he's like mystical and magical and everything and they just do their little back and forth fighting kind of thing and you have your your monster of the week kind of thing your bad guy of the week so like I was saying before I think it'll be interesting uh to see who they cast because they could definitely go for a more diverse cast in this one um I know a lot of people have always looked at Panthro as a black man um, I mean, personally, you know, I don't care who they cast as long as they cast good people. Um, because, uh, from what I understand, this will be 3d CGI mixed with animation. Now, I don't know what that means. I personally wish they would have done a live, they would do live action, but I think a small piece of me is, uh, they're afraid to do that now because of, of backlash over movies like cats and cheetah from wonder woman, 1984. I actually liked cheetah from wonder woman, 1984. I thought I would hate it, but I actually did like it. And I thought that that was a good, a good indicator that they could do Chitara on um, the live action screen. But I mean, it, it sounds like they're going more like a, a Avatar kind of route, which Avatar, those creatures kind of look like Thundercats to me, just all blue and everything. So it'll be interesting to see what they do here, but I can't tell you how excited I am for this. And I think that Adam Wingard will do a good job. I mean, like I said, I haven't seen uh, Godzilla versus Kong, but I do think that... Um, he'll do a good job uh, because so far I haven't been disappointed with him uh, from what I've seen. I know a lot of people really didn't like Death Note and I understand, you know, their complaints, but I liked it. <laughs> so I do, I am, ex I'm excited for this movie, no matter who's directing it, but I am, um, I do wish that they would reconsider doing live action just for like a hot minute. So that is my final story of this week. Tell me, what do you guys think about this story and these stories? How do you feel about Russell Crowe uh, being in Thor Love and Thunder? Is there too many leaks on that movie? And if he is playing Zeus, how do you guys feel about that? Do you, uh, do you agree with me that you think that he should die off in the first 10 minutes and Gore the God Butcher should kill him right off the bat to kind of set up his character? Or do you think that his character should be in, you know, the rest of the whole movie and everything or whatnot? I don't know. We'll see. Um, how do you feel about Amanda Siegfried taking over for Kate McCain? I can't believe I said Megan McCain. That's so weird. Uh, how do you feel about her taking over for, uh, uh, Kate, uh, McKinnon for, as Elizabeth Holmes in the, uh, you know, Elizabeth Holmes movie for Hulu? Um, you know, are you, did you follow that story when it, when it first dropped? How do you feel about it? Are you fascinated with it? Like me, I'm so, I'm still fascinated with it. I can't believe 
so many people got duped by that woman. And and I probably would have got duped for her because you watch her, her, you know, like uh, not her Ted talk, but her like speeches and stuff. And she's so good. She's so like, literally like, I was just like, oh yeah, she's great. She's great. And then you're like, what? She lied, man. So good at lying. I'm a horrible liar. So uh, yeah. Also, and then tell me also, how do you feel about uh, Adam Wingard uh, directing a Thundercats movie? Are you excited about Thundercats? Um, are you not excited about Thundercats? Uh, do you like Thundercats? Do you even know what Thundercats is? Um, who's your favorite Thundercat? All that good stuff. You guys can go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys uh, next week on my week in review. You guys have a good week. Bye. Hey nerds, if you like this video, go ahead and click that Geek What icon and subscribe. And if you like this video, go ahead and join me every Sunday with my Week in Review.